I'm in the mood to improve my flexibility a little bit. So I decide to take some yoga classes. So I show up at the local yoga place called Super Yoga and ask them how much, how much does it cost? And they say, well, we, we've got a basic plan and we've got a trial plan. The trial plan, if you just want to try things out, you can come to any of the sessions and it's going to cost you $12 per one hour session. But if you like what you're doing here, you might want to get a monthly membership. That'll be $20 per month that you can view that as the basic plan. It's $20 per month and then you get a discount per session. It'll only be $8 per session. So this seems interesting, but I'm a little bit confused. Which plan should I take? So the first place that, I don't know, I might start is to think about how much I would pay depending on how many sessions I actually take. And to do a little bit of shorthand here, let's just define some variables. Let's say that S is equal to the number of sessions that I attend per month. Number of sessions per, per month that I'd attend, I decide to attend at Super Yoga. And let's say that C is equal to my total monthly cost. My total monthly cost. So with these variables defined this way, let's think about how much I would pay under each of these plans depending on how many sessions I would attend. So first let's think about the, let's start with the trial plan because that seems a little bit simpler. And I'll draw a little column here. So I have a cost, I have a cost, and I have, actually let me see, I'll draw my number of sessions number of sessions and then I have my cost. And then I have my cost and I'm going to draw a little bit of a little table here. A little table that'll be for my trial plan. And then let's also do the same thing since we're doing it for the trial plan. Let's do it for the basic plan so that we can compare. So let's do it for the basic plan. So I have the number of sessions that I attend and my total my total cost. So let's first think about if I I decide to attend no sessions. So if I attend, decide to attend no sessions, under my trial plan, what will be my cost? Well, $12 per session, 12 times no sessions, well, I'm not going to have to pay anything. My cost, my cost is going to be zero. Now what about that same question under the basic plan? If I, if I have the basic plan, but in a given month, I attend no sessions, I don't go to the gym, I don't go to this yoga gym at all, how much am I going to have to pay? Well, it's $8 per session. I didn't go to any sessions, so I'm not going to have to pay anything on a per session basis, but I will have to pay that $20 per month. So I will have to pay $20, $20, even though I didn't even attend. That doesn't seem so good in that scenario. But let's think of, let's keep working through other scenarios. Let's think about the scenario where I attend one session, where I attend one session. Under the trial plan, how much will I have to pay? Well, it's $12 per session. $12 per session times one session, I'm going to pay $12. I'm going to pay, I'm going to pay $12. Let's think about that same scenario under the basic plan. Under the basic plan, if I attend one session, well, it's $8 per session, so $8 per session times that one session, it's $8 for that, plus just the basic monthly fee. So I'm going to have to pay 20 plus 8 times 1, so $28. I'm going to have to pay $28, 28. So still, that trial plan looks pretty good, even if I attend one, se one session. Let me make it clear, that's a dollars, and then this right over here is $28. And I could keep going, and I encourage you to keep going, but let's try one more just to see how, just get a feel for the numbers here. If I attend two sessions under the trial plan, how much, I go how much am I going to pay? Well, it's $12 per session times two sessions. I'm going to pay $24. I'm going to pay $24. Let's think about the basic plan. If I attend two sessions, I'll do that yellow color. If I attend two sessions, two times $8 per session, that's going to be $16 plus the 20 that I have to spend every month. So it's going to be two times eight. So it's going to be two times eight plus the $20, plus the 20 is equal to 16 plus 20 is equal to $36. So at least for the scenarios that we set up here, if I attend zero or one or two sessions, the trial plan seems to be winning out. But I want to explore at what point does the trial plan actually become a little bit worse. But before we do that, 
Let's think about if we can represent this a little bit algebraically, because it's going to allow us to be a little bit more precise with coming up with our answers. So if we say that S is the number of sessions per month, and C is the monthly cost, how can we express the trial plan as an equation? Well, we could say our total cost, our total monthly cost, so this is for the trial plan right over here. Let me draw a dotted line to show, well, the dotted line goes around there. So under the trial plan, our total cost is going to be equal to, well, it's $12 per session, it's $12 per session times the number of sessions, times S, times S. So under the trial plan, I could say my total cost is equal to $12 times the number of sessions, or $12 per session times the number of sessions. Let's do the same thing with the basic plan. How can we express that as an equation? Well, we have our total cost. Our total cost is going to be equal to, well, regardless of what we do, any given month, we're going to have to pay the $20 per month. We're going to have to pay that 20. So no matter what we do, we're going to pay 20 just from the get-go. And then we're going to pay $8 per session. So it's going to be $20 plus $20 plus 8 times the number of sessions. So $20 plus 8 times the number 8 times the number of sessions. So that's interesting. And you can see, if you put a S is, S is 0 here, if you make S 0, you get 20 plus 8 times 0, which is 20. If you say S is 1, you get 20 plus 8 times 1, which is 28. So you see that each of these S's and C's, they satisfy this equation. Same thing over here. And we can keep trying more and more. What's neat about these equations is just this equation encapsulates all of the possible combinations here. And just this equation encapsulates all of the possible all of the possible all of the possible combinations there. And so the next few videos, what I want to do is explore how can we use these equations to come up with more insights as to which plan is better for me.